On your camera transfer with the LEC, do you foresee any difficulties in SRC transfer over? So, anyway, Houston um, thought a minute or two, and then they said, well, look, uh, we're going to look over all the circuits, see if we can get around that circuit breaker uh, if it can't be activated. We're seeing the news here today, Mike. We're seeing the news here today, Mike. We're seeing the news here today, Mike. There's electricity behind that. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I want to stick my little finger. Here's a ballpoint pen, but that's metal. Mm. Okay. We did have a felt tip pen. It wasn't illegal, but somehow it wasn't on the, the list. Lem snap them now. Lem snap them now. 
lens that in there. That you're on, you've got three more steps and then a long one. No more in this boat. No more in this boat. No more in this boat. The, uh, the lamb, I had an easy time because I had a docking target, which is not too clearly visible here, which allowed me to align the probe and the drogue, which is the dark spot you see on the upper right. In the bottom right of the uh, photograph is the crater masculine and in the bottom center is the mountain called Boot Hill. And there's masculine W. Uh, it occurred approximately, approximately two to three seconds late and gave us the clue that we would probably land uh, somewhat long. Most of the craters have rounded edges, however there is a variation in the, uh, in the age of these as we can tell by the sharpness of the edge of the crater. This is Russia, that was. This is crush to that boy. This is crush to that boy. We went through an averaging technique on board and then uh, fed this information into the computer and this came up with our various alignment checks. And now let's air rather from Nixon. And now let's air rather from Nixon. And now let's air rather from Nixon. We did find that uh, mobility on the surface was, in general, uh, a good bit better than perhaps we uh, had anticipated it. Three to four steps ahead in comparison with the one or two steps that are ahead uh, when you're walking uh, on the earth. The Herod of Spetsus. The Herod of Spetsus. The Herod of Spetsus. The uh, two experiments uh, that you saw in a previous picture uh, were deployed in a scientific equipment bay. Uh, we found that uh, getting them down uh, produced no significant problems. Here you see uh, a view of my carrying these two experiments out to the deployment site about 70 feet to the uh, south of the lunar module. You have a very good view of the uh, varying depths of this uh, upper surface layer. Push down, Push down, Push down. However, uh, in the left side of the picture where it is not uh, as dark, there was also a good bit of walking, and so that indicates that uh, the walking probably just uh, in increases your ability to notice the effects of the strange uh, lighting. Pause it with you. Pause it with you. Pause it with you. Uh, a double picture, it's actually a stereo picture uh, of, uh, of fine particulate material in, in the moon. This is uh, taken from a glass, and uh, the analysis of uh, the cause for that characteristic is of extreme interest to the scientific community. Give us it, gets her carried that girl. Give us it, gets her carried that girl. Give us a good
excellent view of the, our, our uh, takeoff trajectory and tranquility base as we left. And at all times through the ascent, we could pick up uh, landmarks. When we were finally inserted into orbit, I believe there was something on the order of a half, half a mile or seven tenths of a mile difference in the apogee uh, in the resulting orbit. They're wrong, it was you. They're wrong, it was you. They're wrong, it was you. Took the opportunity to try to take some, some photographs of it, but our film was just not sufficiently fast to, uh, to capture the, the event. Hilt the ships. Hilt the ships. Hilt the ships. Of course, the Apollo 12 mission will have two different periods of, of EVA, one early in the mission and then sleep period, and then another EVA uh, following that. Uh, yeah, you be earlier than in the deer. Yeah, you be earlier than in the deer. Yeah, you be earlier than in the deer. I, I, I don't think we have any particular... Uh, recommendations for how, how they should change their mission. It, it is a continuing uh, evolvement of uh, EVA capability and uh, scientific exploration that, that they're undertaking on that flight. The moon is, uh, takes on more of a, of a brown color, uh, almost a, it becomes uh, almost a, a rosy looking place, a, a fairly friendly place. But as you moved further, such that the sun was higher above the horizon, you actually start to see the uh, tans and browns appear, although uh, at a very low level. Similarly, on the surface of the moon, the same characteristic is evident. The moon has no atmosphere, so you're flying in a vacuum and the gravity is much lower. Right. So the characteristics of a flying machine in that environment are very different than they are here on Earth. Are, do you think you and your guys are ready? Are, are you, are, is there anything that you're really concerned about that you, you don't think we understand well enough that you, we can't go on. And so I was involved in those discussions. And uh, out of the reflected sound, it gets pretty reasonable. A very shaky ride in, the, in that particular rocket, the Saturn. Of diverting our attention away from our primary responsibilities because problems usually occur when you least expect them. Yes. And you can't get complacent. You have to keep paying attention. And we were very determined. What have to get sealed in your work? What have to get sealed in your work? What have to get sealed in your work? But he banged into the circuit breaker that controlled the SN engine that got us back in, in, into orbit. Uh, I think that, uh, that when we recognized that, we thought uh, it, it probably will hold, but uh, 
maybe we better see if there's a way to increase our chances of, uh, of, of making sure the circuit breaker wouldn't automatically disengage. Yes. So we took a piece of a, of a uh, plastic pen, uh, a magic marker kind of pen, and uh, made, a, made a little crutch to hold it in place with that. We've been descending uh, about 2,000 meters a minute. We're now down to uh, about below 1,000 meters in altitude. Uh, you the, my my uh, com my computer tells me that we're it's taking us to a landing just on the right side of that big crater on the up in the up left hand corner. The slopes are steep and the rocks look very large, the size of automobiles. Certainly not a place that I want to land. So I took over manually from the computer, the autopilot, and flew it like a helicopter on out to the west to try to find a smoother more level landing spot. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I am a small, I am a small.